everyone, it's Ashley and I'm back with scrapbook process video number 17 titled Back When. And it's actually a photo of a painting that I took, so it's not a very good photo, but of what our land or the place that we've built our home has looked like in the past. The brown paper that I'm using is actually supposed to be for like speed and gear. It's from a boy line from Paper Loft Gearhead called Speed. But I thought it was pretty neat just to use as a main background. And the rest of the papers are going to be from Simple Stories new fall line called Sweater Weather. And I'll mention those. Okay, so that one right there with the flowers and the orange is called Give Thanks. And then there is a couple other I use, but this picture is very cool. I knew I wanted to scrapbook it. We actually have the real painting here, but it's a aerial view of what our land used to look like when it was a farm and everything like that. And it's pretty funny. We've built in a small community, very close knit, and it seems like everyone knows each other or knows someone that knows that person and it's quite funny that Aiden's lunch lady now actually her grandparents owned that house in the photo so and of course I mean it exchanged hands a few times but her grandparents were the original ones here and that's pretty neat so that was a way for him to get into the school and knowing someone but the painting shows like big barns and everything like that and when our builder was building the house you know or we would go out there and just do some prep work before our builder came you know we would find horseshoes and old toy cars and just a whole bunch of stuff and now it makes sense um, they didn't have horses but her grandfather used to line the barn with horseshoes and so that's pretty neat that we would start to find them so the project life card that says home sweet home is from the Becky Higgins either the project or the home um, not project I'm thinking it was from the home line but if there's one called family it was that one but it was one of the mini kits and then I'll be using the white paper it looks like a white wash wood and that one is called crisp days from sweater sweater weather that's hard to say sweater weather and then the embellishments. This is chock full of fun, adorable things that work for fall, obviously. But then other things too, such as this. I just loved the colors for this. The barn is actually like a red maroon. And when we got the land, I mean the barn, I don't know if you can tell, you can tell on a close up, but the barn is bigger than their house. And when we got the land, it was just the house, and then a pig shed was there. But the huge barn is gone, so I need to ask her, you know, what happened to it? Did they tear it down? Did it burn down? Did What happened? Because we've had quite a bit of a history with our land. When we first bought it, someone set the pig barn on fire for arson, and that was... We were so worried about moving here, and <laughs> I don't. The um, the previous owner lost the house, so you know, was there bitter feelings or what? And then the White House, it was pretty. I mean, it it's an old house. So it was pretty far gone by the time we got in there, and we obviously didn't want to build that close to the road, so we burned it down. Well, not us, but we donated it to the fire local fire station and they in the surrounding community since it's um, a smaller area they all got to practice in it and set it on fire and it was it's pretty neat and then we just had to clean up the mess so <laughs> but they got to train in it and then we've built back in the um, probably the end of the property so it's just neat to see it all come together so I'm pretty much just layering all the, the places or the pieces of paper on top of each other. And I knew I really liked this journaling project life card. It 
And then I really wish I could use it. And honestly, looking at it, it didn't look too bad there, but it actually does not end up making it onto the page. Now that I know the connections of who used to live here at one point, I want to know, um, we have more land than that. It is actually cut like as an L shape, if you can see it, but ours is a big rectangle right now, so on five acres. So I didn't know if they've always owned all this, the, all the five acres, or I don't know, so many questions. Sometimes you wish you were then, back then. <laughs> and I felt like the colors were too close which is why I loved the papers at first, but I just wanted to pop the photo a little bit. So I mounted it on a burnt orange. I'm just gonna use the Tim Holtz Tiny Attacher and just add that little tab just to break it up from the Project Life card. And then I really love this little embellishment. It's a house with a heart in it. And it just looks very cool on the page even though we tore the house down but it's where we live now and then I ran out of ATG but um, I think I yeah I don't have you watch me refill it so that's the only thing you missed there I feel like I haven't uploaded a video in a long time. I apologize. Life is just <clears throat> getting away. I was oh, I was worried, you know, before Aiden started kindergarten about what I would do with all this free time. And by the time I, you know, have that morning routine of picking up, tidying, laundry, um, shopping, chores, errands, you know, whatever it may be, I just feel like by the time I eat lunch, you know, or get the shower in in the morning, um, pay bills, do whatever, I feel like he's going to be home. So I just don't know where the time goes, honestly. Okay, and then I'm going to be using, I just ordered these. I know they've been out for a while, but I couldn't find them for the longest time. The Chic Tags, the Wood Veneer Sequins. And I'm so glad I just got them in and I love them. They're fun to add to your page where I would normally put in enamel dots. And I'm just using the Tombow Mono Multi to glue them down. The flare is from Two Peas, which if you haven't realized it yet, they actually have a an Etsy website. And I think it's, we like it like that, we blow kisses. Uh, let me see if I can look for you real fast while I'm sitting here at the computer. Mm, maybe not. Of course my computer is freezing. I think it likes me doing a movie and narration and trying to click around at the same time. But I have ordered from them. I know a lot of people are, they just don't want anything to deal with them just based on how they left and... Um, just the how sudden it was and without any explanation really which you know it's their deal it's their business but I know a lot of people were upset I was worried about my classes when they had left okay it says um, we blow kisses on Etsy and so yeah um, or we blow kisses dot com I got an email from them. I actually placed an order on their their Etsy site. I had wanted a few of their wood veneer cards that they didn't offer on 2Ps anymore as they were exclusives, but they have them on the uh, 2P site, and I got them very fast, and everything was right, and since then I've looked. They keep adding new ones each month. I think this month was all about camping and outdoors, and a lot more people have ordered after me and all have had good feedback. So and they haven't raised the price or anything and shipping was very nice I mean it wasn't like what you're used to if you went to two peas but it was like first class mail which I'm fine with okay so I'm just now doing some journaling and I don't add her last name which is why I had that space I will go back and add it just after 
the video uploads. I just, I don't think she wants <laughs> her info out there. And I just talk about how neat it is and um, how we always wonder, you know, what it used to look like and the history behind it. Because when we had gotten it, it was, um, we had looked for land in this area for the longest time. And it's an upcoming area and um, nothing really lasts too long on the market. And we were getting defeated. We knew we wanted to be back on this side of town, closer to our parents and our family at that time. And we, I don't know how Brent found this, but he, usually, you know, we searched for land and areas like that but for some reason he looked at a listing of a house and he saw this and it was you know pretty nicely priced they knew the house was pretty much decomposing so we made an offer and there was a lot of offers and we got it so it was meant to be but we could not choose a better lot it's got all the trees that I've mentioned before so you know when we got the land it was um, bank owned the the people that lived there before us, you know, lost the house and it went to the sheriff's sale and the bank bought it and all that stuff. So when we get it, you know, it's just a bank and they're just happy it's off their books. We don't get to, I don't know, know much about the house, obviously, before you buy it. Okay, and I save you the, just the heartache of watching me find every single letter in this new pack of Jilly Bean Soup. Um, beadboard alphas and tart teal and the title is called back when and then you just saw me I do mark off the ones I take just so I know for future not to spend hours searching for a little a if I know they're all gone that's the one thing I, I don't like about those letters but they're so I love the how they're thick but not too thick and pretty cool and the colors do match better in person And then that house veneer, I believe, on the right-hand side of by the banner is from Feckled Fawn. And then I don't think I have you watch me glue all the photo, or all the the little things either. And then of course at the end there'll be some close-ups. Thank you so much for watching, and um, I hope to be back soon. It was kind of hard to do this layout. I'd kind of gone out of the swing, so it was kind of simple today. But thank you so much for watching, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Bye!